Yeah. Recording. So let me just pour my tea here uh -huh. in the morning. My morning tea. My coquita. Perfect. All right. Well, let's uh, have a conversation, you know. Start from pretty much anywhere. Like, uh -huh. what brought you to the play medicine in general? Yeah. And then through that, how you came to us and the and then we can talk about your experience here and you know whatever comes yeah yeah well i mean um obviously what leads me into plant medicine is is trauma you know stuff from my past mm. uh within my family environment um you know growing up uh, my dad was very violent he was an alcoholic um i grew up around these surroundings quite a warped sense of thinking of reality um the community that I'm sort of brought up in is a Romani Gypsy community, English, English Romani Gypsies, and they have a certain set of values, you know, that they, they live by, which is, uh, you know, a little bit warped, necessarily, you know. And growing up around this, like my father didn't grow up without a father, you know, um, he grew up with brothers that were quite violent towards him. So, you know, now I can kind of see it and understand it, but a lot of that violence was put onto me growing up and uh, yeah it was very disturbing you know in, in our home environment uh, you, you you children are there to feel safe and protected you know and when you grow up in a child's eyes mother is God your father is your superhero and you, my father kind of turned villain on me and, uh, very very violent and um, you know through my adult life this really disturbed me I went into children's homes went into care systems and I was damaged, you know, I was a damaged child. And um, how I chose to try to escape the damage, the pain that came from the damage, was through drugs, um, misled within criminal activity. Um, yeah, just destroying my life, you know, in absolute chaos. I had no understanding of what it was to be a man. You know, I was, I was a boy becoming in a man's body, um, completely lost, you know, and the only way I knew to sort of deal with life was to escape it by taking drugs. And, um, you know, for my life doing that, taking drugs, criminal activity, prison systems, um, but this was more and more detrimental to my mental health. You know, I really started to become unstable, I was on a lot of medications and stuff like that. You know, the, the uh, medical industry would just diagnose it as, oh, you're bipolar or something, you know, they couldn't see the damage, you know, they couldn't see the trauma, they just want to give you a pill, here you go, here's a pill, you know, deal with it, you know, they, they, they didn't want to know, and then they, you know, for me, now I see, just trying to escape pain, you know, by taking drugs, I was punished for that too, you know, and I was put into prison systems, and understandably, you know, I did things that weren't right, that was not morally right, um, but what I realized is I was never a criminal, you know, I was, I was um, a boy in pain, choosing to try to escape it and then what happened here I go for my life I had two young children um, at a young age um, you know and I now see the effects that's happened to them within their lives which is things that I'm trying to deal with as I, as I grow and evolve within on this journey that I'm on so I had that but I reached the point I was 31 my father committed suicide in prison I was in prison as well at the same time myself and um, suicidal, I was self-harming, just in this, ah, just this pain, this suffering, just not knowing, like, what the fuck do I do, you know? How do I get out? Exactly, you know what I mean? I felt like I was just in quicksand. Uh, how you know? to break the cycle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And um, I remember suicidal, sitting in a segregation unit, just so lost you know but I just never had it in me to take my life there was always something in me that just felt like I just could if I knew a way I would you know what I mean if I knew an opportunity and then what happened was um, 31 um, I went into a rehab they put me into a rehab with in, in England and was it cocaine uh, co crack cocaine crack and heroin, heroin. Yeah, heroin. Yeah. Yeah. And, and all sorts of antipsychotic drugs and yeah, prescription yeah, medications and all that sort of stuff. To be honest, it was more the prescription drugs that was the worst of all of it, if I'm really truthful, you know, it destroyed me. You know, that was really, really difficult to try to eventually get through. Um, but yeah, so I went into there and then, first of all, how I went in, so I came into recovery, right? Which is 12-step fellowship. You heard of 12-step fellowship stuff? Like, 
AA Alcoholics yeah, Anonymous. AA, yeah, so I, yeah, and I went into Cocaine Anonymous. So there was men and women that used to come in and they used to share their experience discussing the 12 steps. That was 12 steps, how to get out of it. Yeah, yeah. So 12 steps is like a program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that was sort of it's, it's been evolved from the Bible, if, if be truthful with you. You know, it's a set of principles, you know, of. Um, understanding that you're powerless, handing your life and your will over to a power greater than yourself. Whether it's divine spirit or just that you don't know and someone else knows better. You know, it's just an idea. And then you're taking the moral inventory of yourself, all your resentments, all your fears, all your sex conduct, and you're writing them all down, you're putting them all on one paper, and you're looking at you. Yeah, you're looking at you, why you're resentful. Not you're looking at the other person, because what, you, what we're trying to do is clear our stuff and our blockages. And then you go out and you make an amends process and you continue with this by continuing to take personal inventory, continue with prayer and meditation and being of service, sharing what someone shared with you. And this was, so I did this for the first five years and I like, as I say, as soon as I got the opportunity, I was in, you know, I was like, I saw people, I saw light in their eyes, you know, they were clean, they were sober, they, were, they looked like they were living life. Um, so I, I fully immersed myself, I didn't, I didn't fuck about, you know, I'm like, as soon as I knew the opportunity come up, so I was like, right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take it. I just grabbed it with both hands. And, um, yeah, I was started sponsoring people, started sharing in conventions. You know, I was very involved into the fellowship side mm -hmm. of things. And the fellowship's a beautiful thing. It's like us. It's medicine community, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's an amazing thing. Um, but what started to happen was... Support group. Yeah. Yeah. A support group. Yeah, support that's what it was. That's kind of what it is. It's just other... You know, no one was earning off of anyone necessarily. It was just people helping people, you know, for the greater good of things, you know. And then you become a community and you might get work with people or people point you in a different direction for something that you may need. Um, it's a beautiful thing, you know, and I've got many good, good friends that are still involved in it. And I did this for the first five years, but what started to happen was, you know, I was doing these shares at conventions, I was sponsoring people, but I knew I was still fucked. You know, I was still very, very much damaged. And um, it was like I had a set of hands around my throat, just waking up in the morning. And even though I took the personal inventory and I knew how to look at myself, I knew how to look at my self-esteem, my pride, my ignorance, you know, all these sort of things, these, these key words that are defects, you know, that we can start to look at and start to change and start to transcend into different principles, you know, like your esteem, you know, um, you know your confidence, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and not relying on false pride, all these sort of things. Anyway, but I used to wake up and I used to feel like set hands around my throat and I knew there was like, this isn't right. Like the way I was feeling was just, you know, damaged. And I'm sharing these like powerful messages to people. And don't be wrong, I help many people. I've still got friends today I, I sponsored and they're still clean and sober, they're living good lives. And then what happened was I had a friend and uh, he's good, he's a brother of mine from Rob and he was sponsoring someone. And this guy was talking about he was going to go to Peru and do this stuff. Mm. And uh, see, the thing is, within fellowship, there's ignorance to it too, because it's about being clean and sober. Right. So we kind of mocked what he was doing first. He's like, "What? He's going to Peru to take drugs? Or to help him get off drugs?" You know, yeah, it's like. Yeah, yeah. But that's where I was with it anyway. But that was the first time I heard of plant medicine. And uh, by then, you didn't have it. Yet. No, I didn't have it yet. No, no. But then, this is how. It, very, you know, you know what it's like. It's like the mother. I can't remember where I heard it. You know, you, you don't find mother ayahuasca. Mother ayahuasca finds mm -hmm. you, and that's how it started to come about. More and more, it started to come into my frequency, into my field of conversation. I'll be talking to someone, and all of a sudden, they're talking about plant medicine, ayahuasca. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, or, in those circles. Yeah, in those circles. Yeah, but they they were different from the circles that I initially had within fellowship because they don't discuss mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Uh, but here's the thing, the founder, Bill W, yeah, how the fellowship initially came about. Well, he probably he had, had a psychedelic his experience, experience, of course, and he understood some yeah. important things. Yeah, and you know, he, took, he, took, he had this. <laughs> He'd done the Belladonna treatment with a doctor called William Silkworth, uh, okay. and he was very much friends with Carl Jung and uh, Albert Hoffman. You know, they did uh, great work, and he had a vision. Mm -hmm. They don't write it in the book, they don't discuss it because it's, it's taboo. It's taboo, you know? Mm, exactly. And. Uh, 
So he did that, and he, and, and that's where he came up with the fellowship. He had a psychedelic experience mm. where he saw himself with men and women, alcoholics, holding hands around the globe, around the world, helping each other. Yeah, yeah. And that's how the fellowship come into tr mm. fruition. But don't make the whole sense. Yeah, but they don't discuss it too much. Anyway, yeah. I was aware of this because I started doing the research because yeah. I was serious. I used to read all the books. Like, yeah. I'm not, you know, I didn't come just to just follow. I came to understand. I wanted to understand the whole process of how this all came about. But anyway, ayahuasca started to come more and more into conversations, started resonating with me more, I started watching things on YouTube, and oh, that's where I watched yours, yeah? And there was a few people, and you was one of them, funny enough. Uh, the documentary? The, the documentary, yeah. The, that was uh, Divine Cactus? The Divine Cactus, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yours was one of the first, if I'm really truthful, yeah? Uh -huh. And um, yeah, it was you. There was a couple of others, Graham Hancock, Rupert Sheldrake, and another guy, Aubrey Marcus. And I was just watching what they were doing, how they were speaking, how they were vibrating. Um, and it just started to resonate more and more and more. And I knew one day I'm going to make this decision. And it was with a sponsee, someone who I was helping, who's now one of my best friends. And I was the best man at his wedding and everything. And this was the only person I could discuss it with because I didn't have anyone in the fellowship. Right. To conversate with, because as soon as I did, that's contrarian. So yeah, that's like, ooh. yeah, exactly. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, I was talking devil speak. Here, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, devil speak. You know, they devil were, speak. Yeah, yeah, ooh. yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so they were real sort of, you know, of, uh, they didn't want to hear it. I had no one to discuss it with. I had no one I knew in the fellowship that I could go. Is, is this okay? What do you think? Like, this is where I'm thinking with it, and. Um, discussing it with Alan where I was and how I was feeling and you know I knew you was working with the Wachuma or San Pedro and mm -hmm. I knew nothing about that I just knew you was working with something different mm -hmm. but I knew who you, I could see who you was because I knew initially inside me that's who I was truth mm -hmm. authentic genuine no bullshit just a straight up guy just doing this stuff you know healing growing evolving and I wanted some of that like I knew I needed to heal like that understanding of healing. Well, that's healing the energy of healing. Yeah. That's how you heal people. Yeah. You can heal through bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I sensed that. You know, I could see it. I could see it in you. And it was, yeah, just seeing men like you that helped me think, you know what, maybe maybe this is the way to go. Maybe this is the path. And then I met someone, mm -hmm. uh, an Albanian girl. And um, as soon as we met, we start, she started discussing. She was like, have you had, you know, have you had problems with drugs? And mm -hmm. she kind of knew everything about me before I'd even met her. And uh, I wasn't really fully in the position to be able to go to Peru at the time. And she offered to take me there, to take me to Inquitos, yeah? To, to pay for it. To pay for me, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, for, for, the for the place we were going to, the Temple of the That's Way Light initially, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, amazing, an amazing human being, you know, we're not Are you in uh, touch with her? We're not anymore at the moment, she went to Switzerland, um, it's kind of funny how things came mm. about, like how I needed her in my life and how she needed me. But it was personal or just friend, friends? No, 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 friends, friends all good, friends. yeah, yeah, it's all good, it's all love, like, I mean, mm. we broke up in the end, but, you know, it, we needed each other for what we needed each mm. other for, not just like I was looking for it. I was just putting it out in the frequency field and she came in and she was like genuinely like listen I want you to come I want to take you to this place and I was like okay she had stuff with her family yeah because her family they're Muslims they're Albanian mm -hmm. and they tried to marry her off when she was 15 yeah, yeah, she ran yeah. away and she went to England and she met a guy and got married had two children mm -hmm. and she had this trauma around her family and I always used to see how she would think and feel and how she would talk yeah. with her family she always wanted to make that contact again and um it's funny because like how we sort of eventually broke up allowed her to step into where she needed to go and she went back home and she went with her family and they, you know and they were healing together and that was because she went on the journey if she wouldn't have gone on a journey on her own if she wouldn't have gone on the journey on her own if she hadn't met me and i wouldn't have gone on the journey fully because i really if i was going to do it as well i wanted to come to peru i didn't want to just because it's you know, I'm aware there's there's uh you know, there's a lot of bullshit in the world. There's there's a lot of bullshit in the fellowship stuff. Mm. I could see it within the community, the medicine community and there's a lot of things where there's like they look really spiritual and I wasn't looking to become spiritual, I was looking to heal. You know what I mean? You understand what I'm saying? Like, of course. Yeah, like I ain't knocking it, like face paint and feathers and you know, it's all good, it looks good but you know, it looks really spiritual but it's not really what I was looking for, if I'm joking, you know. Uh but yeah, so 
yeah, that's how it come about, and then ended up going to the temple the way I like. You know, and and to be honest, that decision there, because, you know, when you're in the fellowship stuff, you're relying on someone else. It's like we go to other people, a sponsor, and we ask them, I go, I'm thinking of doing this, or, oh, I'm, I'm thinking of getting this new job, and then you're sort of, they're going to feed you back as the information, so you make the decision. This was a decision that I needed to make for myself, and I've got good, good friends. I'm very fortunate that I came out with the fellowship. I've got some really, really good friends around me. However, at the time, they couldn't fully understand what I was doing. They thought I was crazy. They thought I was gonna. They will worship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they probably think I am a little bit to some extent, but the one thing is, is they supported me on what I was doing and what I had to do because they could see that it was genuine. It was a genuine place. Um, but yeah, I went there and um, had a lot of fears around it. I think a lot of my fears prevented me from really surrendering for the first few ceremonies, mm -hmm. working with the Shipibo there. Um, however, it cracked me open enough for me to sort of see what the potential of this medicine can do. And I had a vision where I could see me as a little boy, yeah, and I was just, I remember just seeing the little boy there, just scared and in the dark, you know, and just frightened. And I didn't feel sorry for me, I just felt sorry for this little boy. And it was like, it was just breaking my heart, just like, I know what he's gone through, I know what he's going through, because I went through it. And within it, I sort of, I remember going up to him in the vision and just sort of like having this conversation around, listen, I know it's difficult. I know, and I, he was all scared. He was like, I know it's difficult, but don't worry, listen, you're a warrior. You know why? Because I am you. And I remember just feeling this like, this, this weight just lifted off of my shoulders of fear. And, um, and that was where I started to see what the potential of uh, this stuff could do. And, um, I went further on the journey, continued meeting a few other people along the way to work with ayahuasca and um, yeah it took me to the farthest depths of my soul some deep deep healing um, family lineage stuff around not just my father ancestral lineage um, and you know like ayahuasca has a way that she just sort of you know she grabs your hand and you're reluctant but she goes listen let's go you know and she will drag you down there and um, whether you want to see it or not, she's going to show you, you know what I mean? And this is what I needed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even now, like, we were having a conversation, like, I wasn't ready to come here at that time. I needed to do a lot, a lot of work on myself to start with. And that was with ayahuasca. I was a very, very damaged man. Very, very damaged. And what ayahuasca, I feel, allowed me to do was to heal, accept myself a lot more, um, deal with the, the, um, the trauma, the whole childhood stuff, allowed me to, yeah, to sort of um, come to acceptance with it, clean it, heal it, purge it. And then, um, yeah, like five years on within this medicine now, you know, I knew I was going to come here one day. I knew it. I knew you I also would. read one of my books back read, then. Yeah, yeah. First yeah. one. Yeah, the first one, yeah. Like at the same time, like five yeah, years ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. And I knew you'd been there. I knew what mm -hmm. you'd went through, you know, and I just knew this was a genuine person. And I had other people that were like, pointed me in a direction to come work with Wachuma. Um, there were certain times it didn't feel right, and then, you know, coming up to recent, and I was gonna do a retreat in IB for a men's retreat, to, like, it's like, we're having a conversation, a safe space for men's stuff, because we understand what we see, what's going on in the world, there is quite an attack on masculinity, mm -hmm. you know, to feel a lot of shame for being a man. So we were gonna do this. The woke bullshit. Yeah, yeah, exactly this, yeah, yeah. Well, and I was gonna do this, but, I knew the decision that needed to be made was to come here. You know, we were emailing back and forth, and I was like, right, fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna come." And uh, you know, so far, you know what I mean? Like, my is like, it's like ayahuasca tells you where you're going wrong and what you're doing wrong. Wachuma just directs you, it just gives you the message. This is what you need to do. You need to do this, and you need to do this, and you need to do this. And it's you know, such a beautiful, loving way, and. I'm so grateful that, you know, I didn't listen to the others around me. I just listened to my intuition, and that was to come that's here. The point. Yeah. That's the main lesson mm -hmm. from all this work. Yeah, that's what it is. It's before you came here. So yeah. you learn to listen to the intuition. Mm. That's the teacher. That's the main teacher. Mm. Yeah. Just remember that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Trusting in that, and then coming here, and you know, learning so many lessons of where I'm at in my life now. See where you are. Understanding the, the importance of my family, 
the commitment that I have to give to my family. You know, it's like where Ayahuasca was teaching me to become the man I always needed. You know, um, looking maybe I was looking outside of myself for father figures for that kind of guidance, but in reality, it was just Ayahuasca was doing the work with me to see that. Now I'm looking at men that you know are living and breathing and living by this consciously as a human being, yeah, uh, within this work and how they are, you know, and understanding the importance of what I've got around me, you know, within my family. And, um, you know, continuing what I do, I'm very passionate around, you know, what we were just talking about. Like, you know, I feel this, um, an insidious cloak, that, like almost like a spell that's being cast within society a lot. And, you know, I feel like it's demonizing, you know, um, conscious human beings to a large extent. Like truly conscious, not spiritual, but conscious, you know, fully aware of themselves, aware of their sovereignty. And, um, you know, I'm really, really passionate around trying to just see if I can just resonate within that and try to, you know, be some sort of uh, vibrating light, you know, to people in some way on this journey. You know, and then that's your service, right? That's what, yeah, it's service. you know, this is your service here to be able to share this way and share this medicine, share who you are, share your family, you know, we're in your home. Yeah. You know, and it's a beautiful thing. That's my way of service. Yeah. Which is also my path. Mm. You know, yeah, yeah, it's like the one thing, yeah. So, you know, I'm like, I'm learning this, learning this as I go, and coming here, learning many decisions that need to be made, which have already been done, some have been done already, mm -hmm. some more to come. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I feel like now I'm ready for this. We were talking about it yesterday, you know, within ceremony, and what you were saying, like. You have to be clean and cleansed. You have to be in this place to receive this kind of message from this great, yeah. this great teacher. You know. Yeah, your your mirror has to be polished. Yeah. So you reflect divine light without distortions. Yeah. Like ego. Yeah. And stuff. You know. Yeah. Well, you know, I come with some of it. <laughs> I come with some. It's a but it's a working progress. It's work, right? You know, man. It's not like I'm I'm not there fully too. It's like I'm working. Yeah. Yeah. But it's 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 not like you have to be fully there. Yeah. It's not what it's not the point. The point is like you're constantly trying. Mm -hmm. You live consciously and you're constantly trying to be good. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. Uh -huh. You know, whatever whatever it takes in the yeah. way, you know. Yeah. It's like that counts. You mm -hmm. know, your your intention yeah. for purity and goodness counts. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes you who you are. You yeah. It's not the final destination. Yeah. Is the process. Good morning, James. Good morning. Good morning. Final interview here. Nice. <laughs> I thought maybe you guys were already in it, so I was being silent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. It's right. a bit. Awesome. It's Sounds good. good. Enjoy. Well, you're part of the interview now. Right. <laughs> you're part of the interview. Ah. <laughs> See you guys later. Ciao. Thank you. But yeah, no, it was, um, yeah, and, and as I said, I had other opportunities to go sit with people, but I knew, so they really like, how you are, and I knew I was right coming here. Do you know what I mean? And and what you've built and what you've established, but it must have been difficult, no? Like to many challenges and stuff. Yes, for sure. Yeah. You know, it didn't just fall from the sky. Mm. That. That's a 14 years of hard work, trust, yeah. believing. You know, just moving through difficulties, obstacles, no money. Yeah. You know, you're like, wow, how am I going to do this? Yeah. It's not like somebody, you know, this is, there's, there is no helicopter money here, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, This thing comes yeah. from the work we do. From the ground up. But you know, I'm really happy about this. Yeah. Because I can, I can call it mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can I call it that. mine, it's a big, it's a big thing. Your whole energy is in the whole place. It's all mine, yeah. you know, it's ours. It's yeah. mine, Mercedes, Mercedes. You know, yeah. it's ours, we yeah. are one, you know. Yeah. But that's powerful. Yeah, because it's all uh, every brick, brick in the house has my medicine. Mm -hmm. Every brick here has our love and intention and yeah. strong desire to share the medicine. You know, so it all resonates. You know, it's yeah. like vibrates and radiates because that's how it was built. You know, my first clients, and that was uh, I think I think it was like two Russians. <laughs> They came here. Crazy Russians? I got no, Russian no, I got Russian misses, so I know. I no, they were good Russians. You know, I knew one from a cult I was. Mm. Also was a, a fellowship of friends. 
I don't know, but it was a cold, man, destructive yeah. cold, but pretending to be something else. But regardless, so they came here. We yeah. just had this house, the yeah. first one, not finished, nothing. We didn't have doors. Yeah, yeah. So they came, and I'm like, <laughs> man, where's the door? Yeah. I'm like, we don't have doors. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you pay me money, I go buy doors. Yeah. That's how it started. It's like, it's like, okay. But then they drank the medicine, they, like, they didn't care about this. It no. was so amazing. It's like, okay, no doors. Who, 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 yeah. who, who cares? And it's all good, you know? Yeah. That's how it came about, you know? It's just like people come and we could afford to do more for the house. And But that's, we're talking years, we're talking decades. Yeah, know? yeah. I mean, still, four years later, I'm still doing things here. Uh-huh. Like, actually, this Sunday that I had to be a carpenter, who had to do some kitchen in the, in the bedrooms, yeah. you know, like last kind of finishing up, you know. Uh-huh. This is 14 years of, yeah, yeah. of our life together here, so. But it's a beautiful process. Yeah. Like, I, would, I wouldn't even want to have it any... I, I, you I wouldn't want to have it, it done. How no, can you understand it if it was given to you? You just want to You wouldn't appreciate that. No. You, know, you wouldn't appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. It's like, we grew up through this process. It's still growing. Yeah. Shh, relax. What happened? Yeah. You know, so it has beauty in it. it. It's a right for sure. It's like you have to believe. Yeah, yeah. You have to believe in your path. You have to believe in yourself. Yeah. Like without this, you can't achieve anything. Because mm. you you are weak. Yeah. You're you're you get easily distracted. Mm. Like how many people you know who have dreams but never realize none of them. How many? Yeah. <laughs> Most of the people. Mm. It's like, uh, walk down the street and ask people like do you have dreams I'm yeah. sure they will say I do yeah. whatever it is you know new car new house whatever it is it doesn't yeah. matter you know travel whatever but how many of, of them actually achieving that it, it's not it's, it's not achievable but it's not because it's unrealistic goals it's not true because people don't believe in themselves and they're not focused and they're not concentrated and they don't have spiritual qualities that re- so you know it's a quality it's of character that I require to achieve yeah. things in life, you know? And, and that's not a secret, I mean, you, the secret is for you to do that. Yeah. It's not like some kind of a secret knowledge mm-hmm. that you have to find in like ancient texts and then finally you have an access to <laughs> to manifest reality. Yeah. Como estas son? Donde vas? Yeah. You know, it's not like that, it's like, it's all in the open, mm-hmm. it's just, I mean, they let the noise of the world yeah, distract suffocate them. You know what I mean? Yeah, and fears. they're distracted by the pleasures or whatever of what they think other people may think. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. They're not trusting, it. right? It's, it's, they're not trusting. You can stay yeah. focused. Yeah. It's too much distractions. Yeah. It's it's caring about other people's opinions. Yeah. Like what they think about you, yeah. how they perceive you, and you kind of. I bet a lot of your friends thought you was crazy, no? You coming out like, oh, why you yeah. going Yeah, great, <laughs> for sure. I was living in America, I had my business there. Yeah. It was up and down, but you know, yeah. it was good. It was real estate, and we had a car business. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you know, and people like, wow, well, you made it. You live in America, dream. you have a <laughs> half a million dollar house. Uh-huh. Which, you know, I lost in for foreclosure yeah. during the crisis, you know? Yeah. But, you know, it's like American dream, and I'm like, guys, like, mm. This is like empty dream. Empty, it, right? This is not my dream at all. It's like, you know, my dream is not that. And I'm, you know, this is like a transition yeah. towards my Do you think then, like, maybe, because I see this in my own life, right? I have a beautiful family, I have good friends. Like, obviously, the fellowship helped me with that. Medicine has helped me with that to a large extent. But what really fills me is meaning and purpose. Or you know what I mean? If you're not got meaning and purpose, you're just like a dog chasing nothing. his tail. You know, we like have it. nothing. Doesn't matter how much money yeah. you have. You know, I have a lot of people here who come with a lot of money, uh-huh. which is lost, yeah. lot of depressed. Yeah. You know, they have houses on every island. You can <laughs> count on the map, but they're, yeah. like, they're suicidal. Uh-huh. It's like, what? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Man. Yeah. We, we were eating rice with my wife, yeah. and we were happier than any of them with uh-huh. all their money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not money, although money is good, <coughs> yeah, yeah. when you have vision and purpose, then it just mm. feel that supports all that. Yeah. But money without meaning and purpose is just it's yeah. nothing. Yeah. You know? So yeah, people were saying, you know, when I was coming to, from Peru back to America, and then once I was saying, like, okay, I'm moving to Peru, guys. Mm. It's there. Mm. 
I found the real thing in life, you know. They're like, wow, this guy's crazy. He went to Peru. <laughs> he ate some drugs, hallucinogens <laughs> with Indians, and now he's living yeah. American dream. Yeah, yeah. Behind is going to third world country. <laughs> broke. I was broke, man. Yeah. It's like it was like you know, 2008 crisis, and it's like everything went to hell there. And I had nothing. So you know, it doesn't matter. Mm. You, you had have a to dream. You had a vision, and you had the purpose, That's right? It. That's, and I had the power to manifest. Yeah, I had the strength to follow it. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. that's why. Mm -hmm. You know that that's the quality I'm talking about. It's, yeah, it's, it, it, vision is not enough. You have to see, and you have to have an ability to do things. Mm -hmm. Because what's the point of having a vision but you have no power to do anything? Yeah, then you kind of, you know, dwelling in your vision, dwelling in your head. Yeah. At the same way, it's like if you have power to do, but you have no vision, then you don't know what to mm -hmm. do. So you're like running around like a bull, yeah. you know, destroying, uh, you know, fences. Oh, yeah. It doesn't make any sense, yeah. you know. So it's together. It's having the vision and having the power to manifest that. Yeah, that's what I call magic. Yeah, yeah. you know, simple. So what what we're doing here is that is helping people to find that vision to clarify that for yourself what is your vision yeah yeah and well, then it, yeah giving you that strength to follow it yeah. to follow through that's it that's the whole secret mm. there is not a, there is no other secrets yeah. to do things in life to achieve your goals and this is the, as simple as gets yeah. Yeah. but it's kind of overlooked you know people are looking for some kind of secret knowledge in, you know in ancient Egypt you know yeah, man yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. meanwhile their life it's a mess yeah you know yeah. what I mean yeah. it's just like I realized it's a mess and they're still life. lost because they're chasing something that is a fabrication you know it's not it, it, it's, an, it, it's like a, it's an illusion illusion it's yeah. like you know yeah. it, it's like everything you need yeah it's it's right here open mm. in the medicine you just open yourself to it and you see clearly your life and you understand what you have to do. Mm -hmm. It's actually simple work, you know, yeah. it's just simple. You don't overcomplicate. The thing is like we we overcomplicate things in life, you know, it's like make things harder than they should be. So the medicine here to help you to kind of clear through this mind mess, to this chaotic thinking and just find your center, mm -hmm. find your clarity, and just look at your life. I feel like that you for know? me, yeah, that for me, like with with, with what you mind, this is now what is done, yeah? It, it, it might, I had vision, but I don't think I really had the power to manifest it necessarily, mm -hmm. you know? Well, exactly. We were having conversations yesterday, and, and I, I feel like, yeah, 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 sure. And, and now I feel like the clarity is lifted, and I'm just like there, driven by it, it's you know? Sad. It's like you're just going to do it. Yeah. Because that's the energy, yeah. You know, that's how you get things done. Yeah. Because that's my energy, so I'm sharing my energy yeah. with people. You know, that's how we do yeah. things. It's like, this was a cornfield 40 mm. years ago, just cornfield like you see from yeah. your window. It's a beautiful one. I mean, yeah. my wife was sitting there, looking at that with Sarah. I had my medicine in me. And I told her like, you know, here's going to be our house. Yeah. In our healing center, and people will come here from all around the world. To share medicine, and with. we got Koreans, Australians, Americans, English, Canadians, Swiss, Canadians, you know, what I mean? Czech, Czech, yeah, UK, yeah, Russia, Israel, Israel, yeah, we have everything. <laughs> it's international here. It's international. Yeah, it's a community. beautiful thing. It's a beautiful. You know, thing, so yeah. we realize it. Like this is the vision that I had, mm. that you are part of. You are now a part of our vision. Mm. It started started like fourteen years ago, so. So when I speak about manifestation, uh -huh. these are not just empty words. This yeah. is the reality here, yeah. you know. And that's the energy I yeah. share. Yeah. So you I love you saying, that. you see, and you, you do. do. That's it. Yeah. And that's the secret. That's the, <laughs> it, it's, that's the secret, guys. It's like, that's it. Yeah. You, you figure this out and you do things. Yeah. It, that's what the problem is, that people don't believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. People don't have that strong conviction of you know, of themselves and their vision and, you know, it's like it's all like in the realm of uh, probabilities and possibilities and, and, and wishful thinking. Yeah. yeah. It stays there. Mm. You know? Mm. I I don't live my life like this, you no. know, I create my life. Yeah. Do you think that comes with though like um you're a very sovereign human being, 
you know, totally. I, feel, I feel this for myself too. I feel I learned a lot of that during the last three de- years mm-hmm. during this circus that was resonating around us, yeah, because mm-hmm. you had to be really, really strong in your power. And as we yep. were saying, like the world has so many people, they're just not in their sovereignty. They're allowing their lives to be dictated by what everyone else has to say the and majority. what they have to think. And I, and I believe that is a huge, huge factor, like your sovereignty of yeah. making decisions based on intuition and your moral compass, no? Like listening and to critical that. thinking, yeah. you know, thinking for yourself. That's yeah. a big thing. It's like that, that's that's what psychedelics is, yeah. are teaching you. Yeah. You know, if you're not learning that from psychedelics, man, you have to yeah. check you yourself. Course. You, you know what I mean? Course. You're not doing things right. Yeah. You know what I mean? If if you if you're doing plant medicine and you're still following, you know, uh, you know, uh, a narrative that been you know designed for yeah. you without kind of critical critical examination. The, yeah. I don't know what you're doing, really. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Because that's the whole point. Is yeah. It's that's critical, the work. No, that's, that's the work. It's like critical the thinking. You don't just believe in things yeah. that are told to you. You examine them. Yeah. You filter them through your own understanding, through your experience. Yeah. You know? So, the last three years, that was like a serious test for everyone. Yeah. Where people stand. Yeah. You know? The, the amount of fear that was injected into yeah. society. Yeah. It was more than like yeah. than ever. Like combined, ever. combined, ever. combined. Yeah. combined. Like yeah. take the whole yeah. all all world events, put them combined. It's still less than what we went through in the last three years. Yeah. And how you move through this? Yeah. You know, it's like in the beginning we were like first week. I was like, well, mm. you know, I get caught too. It's like yeah. you know, but then I started to kind of you know yeah. unwind this. Yeah. Kind of, unpack this and it's like quickly kind of like hmm something's not right here yeah. something's not right sounds like a, a lot of bullshit here isn't it? <laughs> so yeah but the, this the, the society the pressure was immense yeah yeah huge. like you're crazy yeah. or this you know so self sovereignty is what i write in the books it's like yeah. that's what i want to share with people it's like that's what it is that's your your power is there yeah it's an individual human being it's in your individual, head individualism yeah. you know I me mean? exactly. individual and it's like i think for myself and period yeah you know and if i make mistakes it's on me i'm responsible and for learn. that and i learn and become wiser you know yeah. and growing through this but that's that's this is the this is the mentality if everyone would adopt this thinking the world will change, yeah. like in the day. Yeah. In the day, like if everybody start critically thinking, yeah. <coughs> like we wouldn't be sold in a lot of things, yeah. you know, from uh, people, you know, forces, yeah. you know, people in power and yeah. all this media and all this, you know. Yeah, it's insidious. What's going on? I don't feel because I just when that happened, I just got back from the jungle. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just got back from Bokalpa. Boom, this hit. I was exactly like you for about a month. I yeah. was thinking, oh, what the fuck is going on right here? You know, like, I was, I remember feeling a little bit of fear myself, and then yeah, I was like, for my kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I started to question it. Then I started to see it and I see it for what it is. But however, the point is, what I'm saying is, like, for me, I feel like more and more now people, whether they went along with it for a while, yeah, it was, it, the, the, the fear is his own demise because you know yeah, what they're doing. That's the poison. Yeah, they're, 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 that's the poison. Yeah, to you can't disactivate your your thinking. Yeah, you can't suppress the human spirit, and I feel more and more. However far they went along with it, I didn't go very long. You know what I mean? I saw a lot of what it is, and then now people are going hold on. Like they're told that you know who believes what a lot of the shit that comes out of the media now. Not many, not many really see it. The media is still trying to pump it and pump it and pump it. It's not propaganda. Yeah, well, they are, they are <coughs> financed by financed by big farmers. So yeah, yeah. They're just doing their yeah. job, <coughs> you know, insidious, evil job of yeah. uh, brainwashing people into submission. You yeah. know. Yeah. But regardless, it's like we're talking about self sovereignty, and that's very yeah. important. And that's my, you know, the, the subject. That's a big subject of my latest book. Yeah. Dancing in Hell mm. with, I, with eyes wide, 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 wide open, yeah. Is that, it's like it's how we move forward as society. Yeah. It's self sovereignty, you know. Yeah. So it's, it's not allowing getting, the dictates of yeah, a big ah, pharma, no, government bo- governing bodies. Like we govern each other. I know who you are, you're my neighbor, I know you think I want you to be good, I want to take yeah, care of you, you take care of me. Exactly. It's like how we build a parallel reality. 
Yeah. You know, just yeah. leave them to themselves and yeah. build a parallel reality where we can live, trade with each other, mm. live our life and do what we want to do, you know, that that's that's very important. That's how we're going to build a new world. Yeah. You know? That's how we can avoid dictate and tyranny and all that stuff. But you know, if it's just a one guy doing that it's not no. sufficient. But if you have a big network of people that can trade among them and you know I mean that's why it's like, like it's coming society. yeah like coming here like we are so you know you're a symbol for the light yeah that resonating and vibrating people come here we come here we're already there we're already halfway there anyway let's say and then we go back and we're vibrating in our own truth and our own sovereignty yeah, and then, like I'm off to the fame people are seeing that and they're like Mm -hmm. It starts to vibrate into them, and then yeah, we're changing vibrations. Yeah, changing the vibration of that's society, what we do right? here. We're and that's the way to fucking change it, isn't it? Really, yeah, that's the way. You know what I mean? You ain't you ain't gonna do it by taking them out. You ain't gonna go and take the government no, out, or governing no, no, no. bodies. You or can, some and they got the nukes. You can <laughs> yeah. fight those guys. They well, have all the power. In England, they did it to Guy Fawkes, and they put him on a fucking. You know, they banned him. You know what I mean? Because no, he tried to. It's, it's not through that. It's like it's not through that. It's like it's not. It's not the way. It has it's to like, come from the ground up. It right? yeah, yeah. It, it's a spiritual battle, you know. Yeah, you is, just, you just, yeah. you just, you know, show them your finger, you know, yeah. and you just live your life the way you want to live. Yeah. You just don't buy into their propaganda. And uh -huh. Building life of self sustainability as mm. much as possible. Mm. Of course, you know, we we still need the, the electric uh, there, the yeah. concert there, yeah. you know, and um, you know, an infrastructure. Yeah. But as much as you can, you kind of moving away from this. It's control idea, system, right? you know, it's like building, you know, moving away from cities, building kind of self-sustainable community, even though it's just for you, for your family. And the main thing is self-sovereignty in your mind. Mm. So you don't buy into their fear mm. matrix, yeah. you know, that's how, that's how you fight it. It's like, yeah. it's not like you don't fight them with guns, man. No. They got all the guns. It's like, hey, I just buy it. I just don't buy into your bullshit. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's how we fight. Yeah. It's like I live my life yeah. and period. Uh -huh. You know? So that's the more people do that and we build a network of people. Mm. And we don't we, we just build a parallel reality. It's like we just not in that vibrational field. Mm. You know, we vibrate different. Standing in your power, right? That's like standing in your truth. Immovable. Yeah. Immovable like these mountains. Like I mean mountain. that's what yeah. that's what the medicine is helping you. It's like you just live without fear yeah and and you have your convictions and you have your truth you have your path and you just walk this mm -hmm. and it's like it doesn't matter what people say yeah who cares yeah 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 ayahuasca actually helped me with that it was one of the one of the gifts in the jungle though it was difficult for me ayahuasca was difficult when it came it was like pretty hellish you know yeah uh, but that was uh, there was a few gifts there and which were worthwhile, mm. you know, of all this uh, suffering that went through there. One of them was like, she just, she just liberated me from, from uh, an uh, an opinion of other people. Mm. It's like I was like yeah, very yeah, like, yeah. hey, what people will think? Want to be liked? Want to be people's you know, friend? You know, and and, and she shit, just said yeah. like, you know, you're, you're, you're your own, your own judge. Yeah. I'm like, wow, thank you for such a trust. I mean, this is a big responsibility. Is that my conscience is my own judge. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm like 29. Uh -huh. You know, not like now, you know. Yeah. But then I'm like, wow. So and that was just like a huge relief. It's like, yeah. so what, I don't need to worry about what people think about me? No. Mm -hmm. I was like, whatever. It's like I'm not responsible for the version of myself in their heads. Yeah. It's like it's their problem. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, what they think about me, I don't care. Uh -huh. What I think about myself, that's important. What I feel in my heart, yeah. that's important. So that was ayahuasca yeah. gift, like in the very beginning, and that helped a lot yeah. because then I just start to live my life differently. Yeah, it's kind of like fuck it mode. That's you know it. I mean? That's <laughs> exactly what it is. Like you know, that's it. I'm like, yeah. I'm stepping on the I'll figure this. Okay. What are you doing? Okay. I'm just doing me. I'm just doing me with a good heart, that's trying it. to with good intention. You know. My intention is good. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm living a good life. Yeah. I love my family. I love the people who come here. I share medicine with people. I'm not taking from anyone. 
you know, I'm earning my livings, you know, by my works. Like, I'm good. Yeah. Like, in my conscious, I'm good. Yeah. I, I answer to no one. I run my own thing here, you know. It's yeah, like, yeah. I'm in my power, in my sovereignty. Yeah. You know, and that's what I want to share with people. It's like, those who want, those who don't want, it's okay. Yeah. And people come for different uh, reasons, different yeah. healing. That's fine. It's like, it's not like everyone, it's not like I'm sharing this with everyone. It's like, I'm sure with people who resonate with this, yeah, who yeah, want yeah. to hear this, yeah. that's fine. If not, we can just yeah. talk about your kitty, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's sure. fine, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no problem. Yeah. It's like, I, I take you where you want to go. Yeah. You want to go deeper? Okay, let's go deeper. Yeah. If not, that's fine too. It's like, I, I don't impose myself on you. It's like, it's like, hey, you know, I meet you where you are, yeah. you know? But if you're interested in that kind of thing that definitely we can talk about well that. i think fundamentally people are like stand quite strongly with me yeah so what was that uh, uh, i think i was making a point about uh not to care what people yeah yeah think about yeah. you and that's very important because this is how you move in life you know there will be always someone who will be threatened by you mm. and who will try to keep you down yeah and hold you back from your from your own power, you know? Mm. So, if you follow that, then you will never step into your power. Yeah, yeah. You'll be mm. always subservient to someone, you know? Mm. So it's important to kind of to recognize that and just go against that. Yeah. And go, go, kind of going against the flow always. Yeah. The crowd goes right, I go left. Uh -huh. The crowd goes left, I go right. Kind yeah, of, I just read, I literally, sorry, I'll share this with you really uh -huh. quickly because I literally just read this, yeah. And it was by Mark Twain. Uh, yeah, he, said, he, he, he said a lot of good things. Yeah, sure. and he said, whenever you find yourself on the side of the majority, it's time to pause and reflect. Yeah, exactly. That's very good, you know. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Because you start becoming like a hive mind and not an individual, right? You sort uh, of like, you become a collective. And yeah, not, and not, yeah, you're losing yourself. In it. Yeah, That's you lose exactly yourself right. in it, yeah. That's exactly yeah. right. You know, he was a contrarian for sure, you know. Mm. That's the way, that's... You know, it's not an easy way because you always kind of blacklisted by society. Yeah, yeah, you, know? you always yeah. kind of, uh, this guy, you know. Right. You're not likable by no, many. No, you're know? not going to be liked, that's for you sure. Know, yeah, because but you'll you be liked by the right ones. Yeah, you, that's you, what matters. I, I, that's, much, what right? matters. Right. That's, yeah. that's what matters. I don't want to be, yeah. I don't care if I'm loved by other people. I'm loved by my wife, yeah. by my kids, mm. and by people, and by people many people come who here. come here. Yeah. Not all, of course. No. But have a needle yeah it's like you know i always prefer to have fewer friends than yeah you know about real connections than yeah. like you know so well them ones that don't i think they're just looking for the spiritual stuff or they're looking for the divine this this secret ingredient thing oh there it is there's there's that thing and that that thing is not necessarily there like that you know what i mean and uh and here we have true divine connection yeah truth true yeah. truth man yeah. it's like you know that in your yeah. heart it's like when you when you feel it it's like you know this is the truth and it makes you yeah yeah that you know yeah good morning good carissa morning. good morning so yeah. that's very important you know to stay to you know to have your own truth and not to be afraid yeah to speak it and not to be afraid to just maintain that mm -hmm. You know, and of course grow and expand, it's like, you know, but even if it's uh, going against everybody else. Yeah, yeah. But that's how you feel in your heart, that's what matters. Yeah. Sticking to you your know, truth, sticking to your truth, like, yeah. you know. That's what gives me power. Uh, in yourselves, yeah. You know, I feel powerful because of that, because I am in my truth. Yeah. It's like, that's it. It's like, I live according to my conscience. Yeah. You know, living through with love. Yeah. Like that's it. It's like I'm just. I feel like a mountain. Really. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. just don't care, you know. Yeah. Whatever people like, don't like. It's, mm -hmm. You know, it's like it's a lot. It's easier to criticize people than create your own. You know, I've seen that in the books when I was writing books. Even from even from the beginning, I was like surprised how negative some people can really? be. Yeah, you it's get like, some negative feedback. Then, yeah. Uh, it's like. Not on the book. They, they they don't even have a brain cells to yeah. read through it. Yeah. You know, this is like dumb people. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? But it's like intelligent person will read and they will recognize. Yeah. The, the, another intelligent person, whether you agree or a not, we can have a debate. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. but it's like it, it's the dumb people who like 
Yeah. It's the losers yeah. who, who who try to keep you down. Yeah. You know, to take, take you down because they can't produce shit. Yeah. You know, hyenas. it's the hyenas, man. It's like you know, all they can do is just you know. Yeah. So and I was surprised at how negative people can be. It's like, yeah. it's like some people say, "Oh, who gives you the right to uh, to write a book?" And I'm like, w w "What do you mean? This is my life. Yeah. This is my life. This is my story. This is my path. I share with people. Mm -hmm. I give myself right mm -hmm. to write. You know, it's it just it, it's just that dumb. Yeah. It's like what? Yeah. You know, oh." oh you suppose I have to ask you to approve my book? Yeah. You know, to give me permission to be? Maybe I should ask you to give me permission to live my life too, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, but then you you learn through this, like, it's like, yeah. people are just losers, man, you know yeah. what I mean? They just, the real person who do something, who create, who understand hard work, understand what it takes yeah. to, to come from, you know, the ground and kind of to, to achieve things in life, they will respect you. It's like, it's like, yeah, I know what it takes. It's like, I respect other authors, for yeah. example. I might disagree with them. We might have different opinions, but I know what it takes to write a book. Yeah. The discipline, the dedication, the sacrifice. Yeah. You just, you know, take some time off everything and you just keep, and it's a hard work, you know. I know what it takes, so I respect all authors, mm. even though they are they will be talking opposite things. It's like, and there will be nothing we agree on. Yeah. But I respect their work. I respect yeah. their dedication. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's easy to criticize other work. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? But it's hard to build your own. So I respect people who who say less but do more. Yeah. I mean, you we know? were talking a bit about it yesterday. We was like, you know, there's people that don't feel they have the power within themselves. Yeah. So they want to try to make you smaller. Because and they feel <coughs> bigger by yeah. making you smaller. Yeah. This is the, this is what I call um, uh, your poor souls. Yeah. They yeah. poor. Them. They they get off of your suffering. You know, it's like by making you miserable, makes them happy. It's yeah. just it's like psychopathic behavior. You know what I mean? It's like I'm happy for you. Yeah. If you're stronger, if you're bigger, if you're richer, like man, good. You're my inspiration now. You made it. That's mean I can too because we are equal. We are not lesser than me. one another. We just we all equal. It's just how much you believe in yourself and how, how how hard you are willing to work for that. You know. So if you achieve that, wonderful. That's mean it's possible. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for showing me the way. It's like he's done that. That's possible. Yeah. This guy did it. Wow. Thank you. You know, and I'm not talking about winning lottery, man. I don't believe in this stuff. No, 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 no. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. even want that stuff. It's hard work. That's you know, hard I work. Give I want, you I want earn, hard work. You know? yeah. I, I love earning my life. Yeah. It's like it gives me joy to earn, to build, to grow, to see the results of my work. I don't want things just coming from the sky, you know, like, yeah. here is your lottery, man. It's like, okay, I mean, I would take it and I would turn it into good things, yeah. but it's not how I want it. No, sure. I want to work, yeah. do what I love, do good things, yeah. and see ourselves grow. Yeah. That's it, you know? And the losers, let them be losers, you yeah. know, man? Just, you know, Use them as fuel, like we were I saying yesterday, they're fuel, fuel. Exactly. they're fuel, right? That's exactly, you know, yeah. before I was get, before I was getting uh, affected by that, like before, yeah. years ago, that like, oh, people, but then it's like, said, no, I'm going to use that for a few, I'm going to transform that into more inspiration. Oh, you didn't like my third book? Oh, okay, here's another one. Boom. You like the fourth one? Okay, just wait. Give me a few months, there'll be a fifth one. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't like what we build here? I'll build more. Yeah. I will make you choke on your envy. You know? But it's your problem. It's not, I'm not wishing you anything bad. Yeah. It's your poison that is affecting you. Yeah. I'm just living my life. I'm just using that to grow. You know? That's that's life, man. That's real. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's all it's, it's not all rainbow and flowers and butterflies. You no. know what I mean? People. It's not, blood, sweat, and tears. It's that like come from. exactly you yeah. know. And there is like all these hyenas around who always are waiting for you to get wounded so they can kill you. Mm. So you have to be strong and your roar has to be loud. Yeah. You know what I mean? And people don't like it. Okay.
Well, yeah. check on yourself, you yeah. know? Like he said, remember you're a lion, right? And then That's also, it. like, see other lions around you and appreciate who they are because they're at, they're your allies, you know? Yeah, always. Lions are stronger together than they are on the, uh, alone. You know? Very much so. Yeah. Very much so. So it's important to have alliances. Yeah. It's important to know yourself, to know your truth, and recognize that in others mm -hmm. and build those relationships because alliances are powerful. Yeah. It's like we get stronger together, you know? And that's what we have here, you know? Yeah, people that's what's come, happening, right? That's, that's what's happening. formulated. Like, we have one, two, at least three people here, yeah. right now in this group, yeah. who are building similar yeah. things in different places, in the States, in England, yeah. and in Asia. Mm. So it's like the same model, yeah. they just look at it. My model, mm. and they want to build it there, which is wonderful, because it's like more hubs of consciousness, we yeah. create the better this for human yeah. community that's what's going on here in that group really when you think about it right Korea, yeah, it's America it's everybody. Yeah. everybody you know yeah. so more hubs more people can come for yeah. healing more people can find consciousness find truth yeah. and write it it farther and that's how we change society you know yeah. from different you know places one place cannot do that no. it has to be like a network of many conscious people many many people who do that you know we're not in competition, really, you know, it's like we, if we don't do this, the world is going to hell, you know, yeah. maybe it's already going to hell, you know? Yeah. So, if we want to rise human consciousness to a decent level, yeah. where we start killing each other, you know, and, you know, mm -hmm. thinking how to thrive together, then we have to hurry up, you know, because yeah. things aren't looking very good. No. <laughs> in the last three years, it was just like... Uh, like a, a serious wake-up call, yeah. like guys, you know, you think, you take everything for granted, well, things can change quickly, you know, and uh, how ready you are yeah, yeah, yeah. for whatever, mm -hmm. you know, will you lose your mind, yeah. will you lose yourself, or you will stay who you are and you will keep leading the life you are leading, you protect your family, protect yourself and protect others who need protection, mm -hmm. kind of providing that support for people who who needs that? You know? So that's that's where we are. Yeah. You know, it's like I love peace and beauty and I want that to to be that way, but yeah. things can change. The real world is a real world, you it's know. A real what world. I mean? Like you, you gotta have a reality check with that, you know. Yeah. It's got it can be it can be vicious, it can be it naughty, can, you know. Yeah. It, it yeah. Can, and, and we don't have control strong. over that. We yeah. don't have control no, over no, that. It's no. like, but you can be strong and, and, and prepare yourself for yeah. it, you know what I mean? I think yeah. becoming on this kind of conscious journey doesn't mean you become weaker. If anything, you become no, stronger. You, stronger. you become stronger. Of course you become stronger. Like, like you say, you become the mountain, right? You, know, you, you become know, you like become a mountain. mountain. It's like, you know, they got a gun to you, okay. You know, as you say, you can, you can point it, but I don't agree with what you're doing. And that's yeah, it. You no, want to shoot me, it. you shoot me. But I don't, I, this is not me. This is not me. Yeah. I'm not taking part of it. I'm not following. Yeah. It's like kind of, kind of a Gandhi approach. Yeah. They didn't have any guns. Well. Yeah, yeah, it's Gandhi. Because he Gandhi was a symbol for that light as well. He, he was vibrating within that channel, yeah, yeah. right? And they didn't have any guns, man. Yeah. They didn't have anything. They just stood against the Brits and, yeah. you know, and it's like eventually, you know, they killed a bunch of them, of yeah. course, but eventually I think they backed off. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, we're not doing that. Mm. That's the spirit we need. That's the spirit. The spirit of, of resistance. Mm. It's a resistance, you know? Mm -hmm. Just resist and do not comply and just live your life and that's it, you know, it's just that. On micro and on macro, mm -hmm. it's like on all levels. Yeah. So if we do that and we inspire other people, other people will follow the same pattern that we can create a certain critical mass, mass of critically, uh, crit critically thinking people. Yeah. You know, yeah, so yeah. people can just resist what's Instead unjust. Of a mass form psychosis. Yeah. Because that's what went on, right? Yeah, that's really was, what was going on. Yeah. It was a mass form of psychosis. You know people what I mean? Went crazy. Man. Yeah. yeah. I, I wrote about it in the last book. It's yeah. like, it's so painful. It's like, you know, it's so painful to see all this. It's like total, yeah. total psychosis. Like people just become sheep. Yeah, yeah. Like truly. It's like, yeah. I feel sorry for them. It's, it's bad. Well. It's like, it's I remember I felt really angry to all them at the start. And now it's like, wow. I was okay. angry, but then I saw like, I had compassion. It's like, yeah. man, it's so bad. Like, people become so gullible yeah. and so fearful. And they just lose it, man. Yeah. 
It's like it's just vibrating in fear, isn't it? It's a fear it's vibration. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they injected the fear vibration. So people just lost everything, lost reasoning, ability yeah. to think for themselves, and they just like just become like zombies, you know. And that's very sad to see society. Yeah. This is like that just shows you the level of consciousness of collective consciousness. Yeah. That that's the actual level. Like of course there are those who didn't, but that's like. A minority, yeah. you know, the majority of one community. Man, I, I just went to Cusco like a few days ago with my wife. I, I still saw people wearing two, yeah. two chin diapers. <laughs> two, not one, two. Yeah, they're for real. They're I right mean, there. we yeah, are like, this is June yeah. 20, uh, 23. Yeah. I think uh, the pandemic uh, uh, was it like it the last year or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. The it, beginning of it. It's yeah. like, we are like past yeah, that point. Yeah. You know, there's no no more reports and there's nothing. Yeah, it's like yeah. nothing. It's well, like, there's still you know, people queuing up. I think it's just because they haven't they got the mental the fear. capacity. Yeah, they, it's the fear. They're queuing up to get get jabbed still, and and uh, and they just can't get over it. You know, they just they they their lives are dictated by fear. It's Carl Jung fear. said it, wasn't it? Your fear, uh, your life will be dictated by fear, and you will call it fate. And that's what's going on, because they and they're not willing to be honest with themselves. You know. Um, Fear is a serious, it's a serious factor. Because the point had to come in my life and in your life, for me anyway, like, there was a point I had to be really, really honest with myself and fear dictated my life, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And how I was, as I say, yeah. either how I thought people were thinking about me or how I had to conduct myself or how I had to be within it. You know, and as you say, like, well, ayahuasca, what this medicine does, uh, wachuma, you know, allows you to see beyond the vow, you know what I mean? And break through that break and realize through, yeah. this is all bullshit. Yeah, totally. This is bullshit. Well, it feels how you've been controlled. Yeah. You know, you're afraid, you do whatever you're told. That's where the work is, is to break through fear. Yeah. It's to break through fear so you can gain self-control mm. and think for yourself and make decisions based on... Yeah on different uh, factors other than fear in life. You know? And then you become aligned, right? You can become aligned that's with truth. It. That's it, that's how you inspire people. Yeah. The inspiration comes from there, you know? Yeah, people will hate you. Mm. Some will hate you, some will love you for the same reason. It's okay. It's all good. Yeah. You know, it's all good. It doesn't matter, you can't adjust yourself to the world. You have to adjust yourself to yourself. That's mm. it, that's what I'm doing. I adjust myself to myself, and period. Yeah. Period, man no debate it's period it's, it's nothing there it's like i live according to my morals to my compass in inner compass mm. and that's my inner guide and that's it you just trust in that right that's what it is that's yeah. it yeah. i trust what my heart tells you tells yeah. you yeah. know we are in tune we are one my conscious is yeah. awake and it tells me what's wrong what's right yeah. in the world and in me too you know it's not like i'm perfect but it shows me, hey, that's not cool. That's okay, sorry, I'm just, you know, mm -hmm. okay, understand. You know what I mean? It's like you listen to yourself. Yeah. You know, but for this, you need to wake yourself up. So you yeah. listen to the right self. So you don't listen to the propaganda that is being yeah. brainwashed into your brain, but you listen to your conscience, you know, to your voice of reason and critical thinking and everything. It's like, you know. So yeah, but I think, like, what was funny around some of that as men, yeah? So, like, we were, uh, was talking to you a little bit about it the other day is that the world will consider so you're a man really in your power in your truth i believe i am mm -hmm. i know i know yeah. i am too yeah. yeah and the world will try to give you a label and a name and it's toxic mm. oh that's toxic masculinity it, it, you know because they want people around yeah they, they want to try to control you and label you and then try to like gaslight you yeah to make order, you smaller to make you to smaller you. yeah and then if you believe that well you become a sheep yeah that's yeah. your choice man yeah. that's on you yeah you know that's what it is. They don't want roaring lions. No, they don't want. That's it, right? Because it's power. Yeah. Because we have the power to lead others. I mean, that's inspire others. Mm. It's not just you yourself is the problem. Yeah. You're just one guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm just one guy. We, we, we don't matter. But we can inspire people. Mm. You know, we can ignite the lions with within themselves, mm. and that's what they would like. Mm. So. But that's the way, man. It's yeah. like it's been forever like this. You, you, you cover in and you just become a sheeple and, yeah. and that's it. Or, or you just make a stand in your life and, and stand yeah. for something, you know what I mean? And that's yeah. what they choose. And when you see it in others as well, you know, like you realize, one, you're not standing alone. And, you know, it's like, yeah, of course, that's how I can be. Because I don't care what they have to say. I don't care what they think. You can call me, 
whatever, whatever the names. Whatever. There's so many names they've cr- yeah, created. Names, so. They're just like illusions. I'm trying to follow. Yeah, the name, the yeah. list. You know, you know what? What I, what I wrote this in my diary. Actually, I realised like they weaponise shame. Mm-hmm. They have weaponised it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah so they shame. try. Yeah, yeah, they try to shame you with a particular word mm-hmm. to try to, as you say, try to make you smaller and mm-hmm. try to take away your sovereignty. You know, you have to see beyond that. Yeah, see real beyond that bullshit. And like, that's listen, I know what that is. That's how it works. I know what that is. It doesn't work here. It doesn't work. It doesn't you, know? work. you have to stay. Yeah. You have to be true to yourself. That's it, man. Mm. That's, that's it. That's the bottom line. True to yourself and period. Mm. And end of story, end of debate. Mm. You know, you just walk your path. You don't step on others. No, no, no. You no. step on... Yeah. You, you, you don't... You know, you just walk your path. Yeah, yeah. You just walk your path. Yeah. And those who want to take you away from your path, you fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's it. But you just walk your path in peace, that's what warrior of life is. Yeah. You know, looking for war. But you're ready to fight for, for your truth, yeah. for your love, you know, for your convictions, you know. So. Warrior in a garden, not yeah. gardener in a war. Because in reality, listen man, there's there's as you said, it's a spiritual warfare going on. Yeah, you know I man. Yeah, we're in a garden. We're, 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 we're in a garden we're, here. You know, it's peaceful here. Yeah, we are beautiful. We get on the street, man. Exactly. It's a whole new. And you gotta be aware of that. Well, you know, right? there waiting you for you. You gotta be a reality of that. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, you have to be strong. And the world, the, the society doesn't teach you that. It's yeah. actually it's teaching you to be weak and, and just like you know, submissive and all that. It's, yeah. it's the opposite of warrior spirit, you know. So that's where we are, man. So that was a uh, good. Having you here really good seeing you to transform really from it's good to be here five years later, man. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of change. Yeah, just so in the much. space of three weeks is incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It so was the next stage. The next phase we only did the goal. As I said, I've done so much work with well, well first of all. You did the 12 all the work steps. before you came here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did the twelve ready. steps first, the five years, and then five years with Ayahuasca and then yeah. that's that. And now, you know, in the transference of this and yeah, and, and it was exactly what I needed, exactly at the time. As I say, when I heard your message five years ago, I knew I, I knew, yeah, yeah, man, 100%, because as I say, I know I could have gone somewhere else, but I always remembered you, yeah, mm-hmm. on, on how you spoke, how you was, and it was like, this is the t- this is my type of person, this is my type yeah. of human there, yeah. and it's like now, five years later, and I've You're come here, here, we're yeah. doing it together, it yeah. was beautiful, it's very incredible, beautiful man. work, a lot of people, you came in a busy yeah, time, yeah, right? busy, busy, yeah. Full house, you know, but yeah. it's good, good people, you know. Yeah, good. Like, many lessons. Many know. lessons you learn from other people, yeah. you know. It's like different culture, different. Yeah. It's like you know, but but you know, it shows the same thing. It's like we're all different here, it's like all countries, but it shows that we are at the bottom. Yeah. It's like in our depth, in our hearts, we're all the yeah. same, and we all want the same thing, and we just yeah try hard to find. Yeah, they might look at it like what I realize is, is it, yeah, we're all looking at the world slightly differently. However, we're all vibrating the same. Yeah. We know our hearts, you know what I mean? And I know everyone here. And to be honest, I love it. I think it's great. You know, some yeah. Koreans yeah. and some Americans, oh, yeah. you know, what they're looking to do and I'm what I'm looking to do in England. And it just gives so me the see. power to see these people are just me. Yeah, of course exactly. I can do this where I'm at yeah. at home. Of course this is where I want to bring. I want to build and community. That, I want my family around this. And that's what shamanism is all about, yeah. is to bring people together. Yeah. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are. Yeah. If you, if you have a beating heart, I mean, we can share it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Real deal. Mm-hmm. That's the beauty of it. We, we, we are above religion, yeah. dogmas, ideologies. Yeah. And this is the world of spirit, you know. Yeah. You just come into the world of spirit, and and in it we are all equal. Yeah. We are all human beings. This is know? our church. Right? It means this well. Is our church, yeah. This is our church. Yeah. Yeah. It's like we want. We we, we mean well. You know, yeah. we want to go to do the sacred it. sacrament. You know right. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, that's exactly right. Yeah. So well, I think it's you know we we had a good chat. Here. Yeah, yeah. So anything you want to share in closing? Uh, no, just that I like listen, man. I just appreciate coming. I knew this was the place I needed to go, and so much has been learned, you know. And if there's uh, people out there, maybe with you know similar similar backgrounds or come from that kind of thing, just know that you know there is a way. You know, and the way is, is not with the majority. <laughs> you know what I mean? You have to just trust The way is instinct. with you. Yeah, yeah. The way is in you. Yeah. Actually, you are the way. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, so grateful. Sounds good, mate. Well, good to meet you. You know, wish you all the best yeah. on your journey. 
And we're here. We've got one more yet to go. One more Saturday. Yeah, one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. You know. Yeah, one yeah. more. Just no, humbled, tomorrow. Humbled, man. Very grateful. Thank you so much. Just do your things. Do, just believe in your vision. Believe in what you're doing. Believe in yourself. And you know, love your family. Uh -huh. Love your medicine. And just do good to people. You know. That's yeah. it, man. That's the path. Yeah. It's pretty simple. You know. And you will do good as long as you believe mm -hmm. in what you do. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. All right. Well. Thank you. Watch right. my wasi. Watch my wasi, guys. <laughs> See you here. All right. All good. Good conversation.